Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Stevie. Welcome to the dorkness. Uh, today, I'm gonna be doing kind of a different video than I usually do here on this channel. This is gonna be a tutorial about one of the overlays I have on my stream. If you have been very early in chat on my stream before, you may have seen this first channel points redemption that you can grab one time per stream, and it does this cool little overlay and sound. Am I better than everyone? I made this channel points redemption in Mix It Up Bot and it's kind of complicated. So I wanted to do a little tutorial to show you guys how I made it and how you could make something of your own. So before we even get into what we're doing in Mix It Up Bot, we have to create the reward, the channel points redemption in Twitch. So I'm at my creator dashboard here and I'm going to go to viewer rewards, channel points, manage rewards and challenges. We're going to create a new, uh, a new custom reward. We'll call this first. We'll make it cost whatever we want it to cost. And then um, you can, you know, you can customize it however you want. The most important part is to create a cooldown and make it uh, one redemption per stream. Max total just per stream. So in my case, since I'm creating a first redemption that, you know, you can only be first in chat one time, I just made this one. But if you're doing something else where you want each person to be able to check in one time per stream, or, you know, have something that people can do more than once throughout the stream, do that at your discretion. I'm just showing you exactly how I did my first redemption. So we'll create that. And then we'll see that we have that first channel points redemption available to us in mix it up bot. But you have to start from Twitch so that it'll show up in your uh, Twitch channel points redemption tab in the Mix It Up app. For, okay, it's kind of complicated. We have to start over in the currency rank inventory page of Mix It Up Bot, and you can see what I have created here already. I created an inventory that I personally just called Twitch gear because it's easier for me to keep everything organized by this is stuff that I made for Twitch. So we're going to go pretend we made a new one. We're going to name the item, and I personally named the item first because I want it to track how many times each person hits the first channel points redemption. So we needed to create basically like a product for mix it up bot to keep inventory of. So every time you hit that first redemption in my chat, it, considers your user as gaining one first item. So we're gonna name the item firsts. We're gonna create the special identifier name. I always keep this the same as the item name because then it's easier to just remember what you're keeping track of. So let's say, okay, we're adding an item. Let's say we do the same thing. Item name firsts two. Um, I think just we leave all of this blank because none of this matters. Add item, uh, special identifier name firsts too. So perfect. That's exactly what we'd want to do. Now let's just keep everything as it is here. We'll save. And now we're going to go to our channel points. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So I have this channel points redemption called first. Let's edit it. So I have a few different actions here that happen when someone redeems that redemption. First, we have a sound that plays. That's fairly straightforward. I just go to my action button here, add a sound, and then I would click the plus button to add it, find it in my, in my file browser and add the sound. I'll delete that because we already have it done. So we have a sound that goes off immediately. I have a chat message. Um, and this is where you start to learn the commands that you'd use in Mix It Up Bot. So to find the person or user that redeemed the, the channel points redemption is dollar sign username. So whoever clicks that first button, that's whose name is going to show up in this chat message. So it'll say Stevie the dork is first. Get wrecked, nerds. And that that command should be universal if you're using Mix It Up Bot. It's always going to be dollar sign username. All right, so we added the chat message. Now here's where we go back and reference that inventory that we created. So the consumable 
category that we called Twitch gear. Um, we're adding it to the user so that that user that redeems the channel points redemption, it adds to their inventory. Um, and then the item names first. So we can see here the other one we created first too. So this is just how you'd keep track of it. But obviously I'm going to keep this as the initial firsts that I created and then amount one. So that's easy there. Now, this is where we'll reference the inventory in our second chat message. So I made a chat message that pops up in chat that says Stevie the dork is first get wrecked nerds. And then the second message that pops through will say Stevie the dork is now one time better than everybody or, or you know, however many they've actually collected. So you can keep track of how many times you hit that first button. So we do dollar sign username is now and here's here's where it gets complicated dollar sign user Twitch gear firsts. So you it's always dollar sign user, but Twitch gear is the inventory category that I created and firsts is the item name that I created. So whatever you create for your stream is what you're going to put here. But I. <laughs> Sorry, if you can hear Ezio in the background, he's being so naughty today. I had to lock him out of the stream room because he's just like being ridiculous. So if you can hear him in the background, I'm just going to ignore him and we're going to keep going. There's barking in the back of this video. I can't. There's nothing I can do about it. He's going to Ezio's going to be Ezio. And that's all we can say. Anyways, where was I? So this is why you have to remember what you call those inventory items, because you're going to smush all those terms together so that you can keep track and mix it up. But we'll know what you're doing. So dollar sign user category item. And I just used Twitch gear and firsts. Um, so mine says Stevie the dork is now two times better than everyone. So that's an easy chat message that we add. Um, oh, one one little tip, too, is there's a special identifiers reference that you can click here. I have it. It opened up in a new window here. Let me drag this in. So when you click on that in mix it up bot, it gives you. I love this. If you're confused on how to do something, you can just reference this link because um, it kind of tells you how the commands work in mix it up bot. But don't worry about this right now. Right now, the way I explained it is the way to do it. But if you have any questions about it in the future, that's a great resource. OK, so we added our, our second chat message and now I also have the overlay. You'll notice it pops up on the bottom of my screen when someone redeems that first button. So I just had an overlay, a text overlay, default endpoints. I fixed the size and the font that I like. Um, and I just had, again, dollar sign username is better than everyone. And that's going to reference whoever selected the first button in my channel points redemptions. Um, and position it how you like it. I have it stay up there for, I think, the first 10 minutes of stream. Um, so you can you can mess with, with the screen position and how long it'll stay up on the stream, the font that you like. I believe, I believe, yes. Okay, so this does, this does. Mix it up bot does speak to your computer. So if you have specific fonts saved on your desktop or on your PC, you should be able to use them and mix it up bot. Okay, we'll save that. And that's pretty much it. This is really complicated, but once you understand how Mix It Up Bot works, it's actually pretty simple. And there's a lot of really fun, um, like unique things that you can do for your stream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. If you have any questions about how to do this and if it wasn't detailed enough, please let me know and I'll see if I can update this with more detailed instructions. Um, and if there's anything else that you're curious about that I have on my stream that you maybe want to implement on yours or how to use Mix it up bot because I've I've spent some time learning it and it's it's complicated but it's really useful so maybe there's some other tutorials we can make in the future um let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see regarding like stream tutorials and if you liked this video if you got any value from it please leave a like subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends help help me get some engagement and grow the channel because you know that'd be cool but also Thank you so much just for spending your time here. That's really actually enough. All that other stuff is just icing on the cake. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, wait, I forgot. Hi, I should also like advertise my stream, huh? Uh, I stream on Twitch Sundays, Tuesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, push a button and come hang out with me there. Okay, goodbye.